without has been criticized for its default physics engine because of lack of performance and accurate behaviors. As a result, many alternative physics engines were released to try to improve this aspect of the engine. Today, we'll check out the main alternatives for both 2D and 3D in order for you to know the exact physics engine that you have to use for your ongoing projects. Let's get started. So in the first place, in terms of 2D, the only main alternative that we've got until now is Rapier 2D. Even though Godot Physics 2D don't have that much problem, they can still have some kind of improvements in both performance and behaviors. So here we've got Rapier that actually can fix these two issues quite, quite well. The performance is better, the overall behavior is better. It is definitely a pity that we don't have much other 2D engines in order to be comparing, but well, as Grow doesn't have that much problem in terms of 2D physics, Rapier 2D is the only main alternative that we currently have. We also used to have the older version of Rapier that was called Box 2D, but well, if you check it out right now, it's completely unmaintained. And basically, the creator said that if you wanted to continue using Box 2D, even a better version, that uh, you should actually be using Rapier 2D. So whenever you want to create a 2D project and feeling like trying out a new physics engine, Rapier 2D is the only alternative that you've got until now. However, in terms of 3D, we do have a little bit more choice. We've got Rapier 3D, it is basically the same version as Rapier 2D, but of course adapted to the 3D physics engine of the Rhodes engine. And then we also have the main alternative 3D physics engine, which is YOLT. Unfortunately, until now, YOLT doesn't have 2D support, it doesn't have any kind of 2D feature. If it had, it would definitely be just, just something amazing, but well, unfortunately, currently, 2D is not supported by YOLT, 3D is uh, the only dimension supported by YOLT. And even though Rapier 3D definitely has a better performance that without, than without physics, YOLT is just much, much better. The performance that YOLT provides is better. And also, we completely dedicated a whole video on Rapier and YOLT, basically on Rapier 3D, I wanted to say. And what Rapier 3D has some kind of small issues that actually make it unusable for bigger projects. So it means that it's, it isn't as polished as YOLT. But probably still YOLT has some things that could improve, some errors that it currently has that could be fixed. But well, definitely fewer bugs and errors than the ones that you may found in Rapier. And probably this is because YOLT has been existing for longer, much, much longer actually than Rapier 3D that is a much more recent uh, physics engine. But well, the reality is, again, for you, for your current projects, in terms of 3D, YOLT is much, much, much better than Rapier 3D. Then, here is the conclusion. Unfortunately, for 2D, the only main alternative, stable alternative, is basically Rapier 2D. Maybe the difference between good old physics 2D and Rapier 2D isn't that big, that huge, because the 2D good old physics actually work pretty well, but well, Rapier 2D can provide a better stability, better behaviors, and a little bit better performance. So at least if you have your 2D game using some kind of physics, I wouldn't really doubt to you give it a go to Rapier 2D. I feel like the 2D version of Rapier is much more polished than the 3D one. I didn't find any kind of error, at least me, uh, with Rapier 2D. So you can give it a go. You, you will not waste much time if you don't really find it interesting. And in terms of 3D, we've got two main alternatives, Rapier 3D and YOLT. I will hear the difference between the two are quite big. YOLT provides much better behaviors and performance, and also a much more polished uh, physics engine because Rapier does have uh, some issues. Of course, we don't know the future situation. Maybe Rapier starts fixing everything. Maybe they even uh, provide a better performance and behaviors than YOLT soon. As well, at least the reality for today for your current projects is that for 2D, the only alternative that you've got is Rapier 2D that is quite stable, quite good. And for 3D, you have both YOLT and Rapier 3D. And definitely, YOLT is a much, much better choice. If you want to learn more about Godot and Godot physics, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because I am always uploading this type of content. 
see you in the next one and bye bye